In this video, we're going to show you how to make price comparison sites this year. We'll use Rehub theme and Content Egg plugin. We will describe functions for free and the pro version of the plugin. Also, we'll show you some tips on how to customize the look of your shop. Before we start, we need to make some preparations and installations. First thing which I do after installation is permalink settings. Make sure that you have post name choice in settings. Now go to general settings and change name and description of the site. If you've installed SSL in the previous step, then change here also the link from HTTP to HTTPS. If you plan to add community on site, then enable also the option for registration. If you don't plan to have any community, just change the default role to customer. Because of changes in the site URL, we need to log in again. Now open the WooCommerce settings. And change your country and currency of the site. In Advanced tab, you can add the cart and the account pages. You can add them manually, but there is a better way. Open WooCommerce status settings and open tools. You can find here the option to create default WooCommerce pages. Now all the pages are created and assigned automatically. They will be created also if you didn't skip Setup Wizard after WooCommerce installation. We finished with plugins basic settings, so let's install the theme. We will use the Rehub as it's the most powerful affiliate niche theme, and recently themes got also many special features. Uh, you can buy themes on ThemeForest, and this is only one official page to purchase the themes. So if you use any other site than ThemeForest, uh, you should know that you have a big chance to be infected by malware. And also your site can be blocked because of the nulled license. Uh, after the theme installation, you need to install required plugins. Install Rehub Framework, Elementor, uh, all the others are just optional. Now activate the newly installed plugins. Theme installation wizard is then going to open. Here you can choose the predefined theme options. And you can set the logos as well. The next step is important, so it allows automatically to install and assign the wishlist and comparison sites.
The theme has several sections in the admin panel, and the support section is also really useful. It allows you to find answers to many questions in different online sections. The blog's got many step-by-step -step tutorials. And then documentation has more than 500 articles. You can also use fast demo import, but in this video, I wanna show you how many details. So we're gonna create everything from zero. So after the theme installation, you need to install the Content Egg plugin. You can do this from the Rehub plugin section. Plugin has a free version, which is included in the theme and the pro version. And you can buy the pro version on Keyword Rush site. Find the link in the description of the video. Both versions are working the same, but they have different numbers of modules. You can start with the free version and then move to the pro version when you're ready. All settings will be safe, so you can migrate without any problems. Before you start, you must do some important preparations in the plugin. In general settings, enable the plugin for products. Now in modules, enable modules, which you need on the site. Make sure that auto embedding is set to short codes only. Once you enable modules, they'll be available in the WooCommerce synchronization. Let's start from principles of the plugins work. They're very easy to understand and very similar to how search engines are working. You enable the modules, then add the keyword for searching. Plugin will find all the results in all enabled modules. Then you select results which you want to show on the site. Some modules have also extended parsers like attribute parsing and rating parsing. You can check them and enable the option to save them. After you finish a selection, you can also add additional information in the product. For example, editor's reviews, video, or even 3D models. Please note that default product layout in the theme is not for price comparison. So we need to select spatial, special layouts from the theme. You can do this locally for each product or globally for all products. Let's see how it looks now. All sections are generated automatically. Let me show you also another product layout. This is Content Egg Auto section. Don't forget that some parts are auto-generated, but you can change them. For example, if you don't like auto description, you can add your own. Everything in the theme will be synchronized with Content Egg. If you added content blocks from YouTube, Google Images, they will be placed in the gallery. Another layout which is usually used for content egg is review with blocks. It's better to use it if you also add reviews to the product. When your product will have three price updates, you will see additional blocks on the site, like history price block. 
Each module in Content Egg has an option to set its own period of price updates. Don't forget that you can always enable local and global layout. If you need local, choose it on each product separately. If you need global, make sure that product page has a global layout as selected, then open your product page on the site. And click on the Customize button. Now select Global Layout in Theme Options, WooCommerce Global Settings. Once you're happy with the layout, click to publish. You can find that there are many cool layouts in the theme, but many of them are made for shops and don't have content egg blocks. Fortunately, you can extend each layout with content egg blocks. For this, you need to copy output short code from content egg. For example, we copied list short code. Now you can place it inside custom code areas. Let's see how it looks. Cool, we have the content egg block on the page now. But we still have an add to cart button. To disable it, just make sure your product is external. Now the button will have a link from your synchronized offer. Custom code areas also can be global and local. So once you're happy with output short code, you can place it in the global area. It's also available in Customizer. So scenario is next. You edit the product page, select the product layout and output short code. Then when you're happy with the results, copy the short code to global area and select global layout. As we explained before, Content Egg plugin has free and pro versions. Let's see what we have in the free version. I think that most usual modules which you will use is the feed module. It allows you to import any feeds from affiliate networks which have CSV format. Free version has a limit by number of feeds, but it's enough to start. Now the most affiliate networks have feeds, so let me show you an AWIN example. First of all, we prepare our feed, but please don't use all categories at once. Such feed will be too big and very slow. Instead of this, we make custom targeted feeds. Now select which fields you want to have in the feed. If the feed has EAN, it's a very good feed. Format must be CSV and the feed must be available as a direct link to have price updates. Choose other settings as described. Now download your feed on the computer and open the file in Excel or any program. You need to map the field names to fields of content egg. Copy the column titles from feed to proper fields of plugin. You can enable the option to save the image from the feed as a featured image of the product.
When you make the feed import, you can use it as any other module in Content Egg. You can even use it as an auto block. So let me show you some quick examples. First of all, create a new auto blog task. When you import your feed, you can find additional buttons to export EAN or URLs. Export the EAN if it's available in your feed and copy them as text. Now simply add them as keywords in the auto blog task. Now choose your title and body templates. You can use any text there and placeholders. You can also add copy output shortcodes from Content Egg like we did in the custom code assets. Also, all HTML tags are allowed. In this example, we use the body template with short code, but it's not required, especially if you selected global content egg product layout in the theme settings. Now run auto blog task. What does this make? Well, it's the same as if you create a new product for each keyword. Then you search this keyword in content egg and select the first results. But how to add price comparison with auto block? Well, this will only work if your modules or feeds support EAN. EAN code is universal code of products and it's the same in all networks. You can use Autoblog and enable several modules all at once. Or use the Fill module. It's the same as Autoblog, but it works for existing products on your site. So Autoblog task creates new products for keywords. The Fill module takes some field in existing products and adds an Autoblog task for existing products. Additionally, the free version has Viglink module. Viglink is networks which has other networks and millions of existing products. You can use it if you have no API access in other networks. The last module in the free version of the plugin is the offer module. Gives you options to add any link and data manually to the list. Offer module can have price updates. For this, you need to use XPath. You can find some examples of XPath universal codes in our documentation. You can also add a different XPath for each domain in the settings of the offer module. The pro version of the plugin has much more modules than the free version. Of course, using more modules will be more valuable for users and more revenue. So we strongly recommend investing in the pro version. 
This includes many offer modules, but also content modules. Let me show you some examples of how to use content modules from Content Egg Pro. First, the content module, which we will add is YouTube. Enable it. Now we need to create an API key. Open documentation link to see how you can do this. First of all, you need to create a new project in the Google console. And for this, you must have a Google account. Wait when the project will be created and select it. Go to the library and select the YouTube API. Enable it. Create your new credentials. Copy the API key. Make sure that that key is not restricted to use. Now let's enable also Google Images. Check how to do this in documentation of Content Egg. Create a custom search. Configure the search engine according to the documentation from Tontent Egg. Make sure that you have proper selected projects. Open the API library and enable custom search API. Copy the API code and place it in the settings of content egg.
Now let's try to use the new modules now. Place the name of the game in the search field in Content Eggs panel. Now select items which you think are better for your site. Save the product. As you see, we now have additional images and videos for our game page. But we'll go further and I'll teach you how to make custom sections. For example, we can add additional tabs. We can place them in any output. Uh, for example, I'll use Google News as a module in Content Egg. As in previous steps, we changed the number of items for Autoblog. What this module does, well, it's for adding relevant news from other sites. To see results for this block, you must insert in content with a shortcode. But it looks ugly in content, so let's show how to place it in a different section. Copy the short code. Go to the bonus plugins of the theme. And find RH Woo Tools. It's plugin for extending regular options of WooCommerce. One of these options is to make global tabs. Here are three fields, add name of tab, short code which generates output and order, Now we have separate sections for news, and it's also useful for mass imported products because it's a common case when product feeds have no content for a description. So news tab allows to make products with some sex content and not so empty. For example, this page has no content and it looks fine with news. And this is how it looked earlier. Affiliate Egg is another plugin from the Keyword Rush team. Affiliate Egg does a similar job as Content Egg, but with another technology. It uses web parsing without API, so you don't need to have approvals in networks. Affiliate Egg can work as part of Content Egg. 
Think about Affiliate Egg as additional modules for Content Egg. You can find the link in the description. Content Egg also has some useful widgets. For example, Price Movers can show you the most discounted products. It's a very common scenario when you use different modules with different currencies. What if you want to show prices in another currency? For this, you set your main currency in the WooCommerce settings. And you set the desired offer currency in the theme options. If the main currency of the website is going to be the same as the offer, nothing will be changed. But if you have another desired currency, it will be recalculated. You can even show different prices for different site languages if you use multi-language plugins. You can find information of how to do this in the documentation of the theme. In all previous steps, we described ways how to submit your offers and products. Now we can describe how to customize design of the site. And this is the easiest part of the tutorial. All of the customization settings are in the customizer. It's available from the top panel when you view the site. Let's change now the archive layout. First thing we should do is change the image ratio. Usually images on game sites have a book ratio, so we'll set it here. In product catalog settings, you can set order and some other options. In archive settings, you can select designs of the product loops. You can change also the color and font sizes. Let's also add widgets on the shop page. I think that shop pages need to have different filters, so let's add them. If you have global attributes, you can also add attribute filters. Check out our videos on details about the attribute system of WooCommerce and special extensions from the theme. Now let's add also a deal of the day widget.
In theme options, you can change also the colors of all important elements. You can change also any header elements and change the header layout if you need to. We'll remove cut items as we don't need it. You can customize also the mobile panels. Disable many parts for pages. And add ad scripts in global code areas. We added products on our site, configure design for the shop and the site. Now it's time to add something to get SEO traffic. And for this, we need to use posts. I recommend to make two types of posts, review posts and listing posts. And this is another place where themes can help you out because there's a lot of special post layouts and Gutenkong special framework for Ephon. So let's see some blocks which we can be useful for affiliate sites. The first block is review block. You can find all blocks by typing slash and the name of the block or by clicking on the plus icon. Now review blocks have several conditional parts. You can enable and disable them and edit them from the editor. You can also convert each block to reusable blocks and then use them in other pages. Check out a video about reusable workflow, which will save a lot of time for you. The next helpful block is the WooCommerce block. You can connect your review with a WooCommerce product. Let's see other helpful blocks. Infobox and Tilerbox are useful if you want to highlight some content. Offerbox is useful if you need to add offers which are not related to your products. Pro cons block is useful if you need this block without reviews. Versus table is for cases when you want to compare something in different games. Accordion block is useful when you need to add sections with questions and answers.
Itinerary block is useful for any kind of step instructions. Slider is for compact sliders of images. Promo box is for adding blocks with CTA. Other useful blocks is quote. It has good options to use it as a large area. Gallery block allows to select multiple images as a block. Cover block also allows to add combinations of blocks. Also, you can place YouTube videos directly in content and they'll be replaced by a player. All videos in theme are responsive. Also, each content block has support for extended and full width align. Additionally, theme has special ready patterns with combinations of blocks. Okay, this was blocks in editor, but also theme has different designs for post layout. It's the same as for product layout. You can set it per post or globally. There are different layouts with each design. But for my opinion, optimized full width and full width photo layouts are best for games. Some post layouts have integrated tables of content panels. They are created based on your H2 headings in post content. There's also a special top list short code. It's useful if you build a top listing post. Additionally, there are some special blocks in themes to build listings. It's review heading and color heading blocks. Content Egg can be used not only in products, but also in review posts. 
you can copy short codes and place them directly in the post editor. By default, each short code shows all offers which you selected for a list. But Content Egg has many short code parameters. The most popular is Next parameter. It allows to divide a whole list on several parts. Another important parameter is Limit and Offset. As an example, limit one and offset one means that you will show second offer from the list. If you prefer to use Elementor, Rehub theme also has content egg modules for you. You can import blocks from any post or product where you have offers from content egg. Also, you can choose the type of block which you want to show. Thank you for watching, God bless you and your sites, and I'll see you soon in the next video.